if you're ever in your kitchen looking out the window and you hear a crow in your kitchen you say damn I didn't think I had a crow in my kitchen it's not a crow it's Catman Do. hear him? he's like a crow he wants breakfast that's not her. That's her. That's crow you heard. That's not her. She makes kitty sounds. But him, he makes crow sounds. Here, that's his Indian name. No wing crow. <laughs> Come on, no wing crow. There he is. No wing crow. <laughs> well I thought Monday was going to be a plain ordinary day but it turned out to be a few knives I got two pair of uh, pruners a pair of loafers and a pair of hedge trimmers I stuck these in here because I got the invoice taped to the handle so it won't blow off and then I had uh some restaurant knives in my rental accounts that's due tomorrow so I had to sharpen these up make sure they were ready to go tomorrow for delivery around 11 okay that's all what Monday looks like oh no wait a minute I'm forgetting the best part you remember about uh damn I say a month ago guy brought me three of these knives these real fancy ones with the red red wood handles on them well this one right here had a chip near the end and I ground the chip out and made it straight back up the handle like this well here's what the original knife looks like there were four there were three of these and apparently he just couldn't fall in love with the way I the way I did it so he called me up says you think you can make that one look like the other ones <laughs> I said sure well, perfect but it's close enough for government work I sharpened them while I had them they didn't need it but I give them a little touch up pretty aren't they I forget what brand they were some off the wall expensive brand nothing I ever heard of before I've been out doing some honeydews. We're getting ready to have a shakeup. Breezed up from the northeast. Supposed to rain tonight, tomorrow. I'm not sure how hard it's supposed to blow, but it's going to blow some. Guy called, said he was coming by, and I said, Well, I'm not home. Drop him off on the back of the boat. He said he had some hedge trimmers and a knife. Let's see what we got back here. I see the handles. Oh yeah, he's got a pair of oops, I got a note here that says thank you. He got some hedge trimmers and some lopers. American ash. That's the handle of course. Not too bad. Oh yeah, not too bad at all. Okay, let's go see if we can. He must have left the knife in the mailbox. There's a zippo in there. Nothing. I know what I had to tell you. Doc Beaver. You know, he's former military SEAL kind of guy. He's uh, he's in San Diego. Or he's on his way to San Diego for some uh, some work training. Or I'm not sure. You know, it's none of my business anyway. But he said he's going to be there three or four days and detect in the beach of San Diego. I don't know if he's going to stay with one beach or several beaches, but I know we'll get a good report from Doc Beaver. Stand by. It's dreary, nasty. 
been raining all night. It's not draining right now. I'm on the way to the machine shop to pick up my uh, new verbal speed right hand buffer. I should say right shafted buffer. I took that verbal speed. I took another one of those verbal speed motors and had a bracket made for it. I'll show it to you when I get there. I played the lotto uh, last night. I played four tickets, two dollars a piece. And I don't know where I came in at, but that number right there is the Powerball or the Mega number or whatever the hell they ever call it. And that's the that's the only number I had, which wins four bucks. <laughs> it's like two hundred and eighty two million. Now it's three hundred and fourteen million. I can buy two more tickets. It won't cost me anything. <laughs> I got those uh yard stuff all sharpened up. The see them right there next to my uh, CTX. Lopers. Okay. I get back to you in a little bit. Well, there it is. Got three adjustment holes if I need to move it up or down. This is just a chainsaw wheel I got on there right now. But sharpening, not chainsaws. It's a chain sharpening wheel, but I just stuck it on there. It does a good job on serrations and stuff. I'll take some better pictures when I get home. Okay, stand by. I might have stumbled on another rental customer. I just picked up, uh, what have I got here? Three, six knives, baker chefs, things like that, from a retirement home. I'm gonna sharpen them for them tomorrow, maybe today, take them back to them tomorrow, and then see how long they stay sharp. Chinese stuff, you know. Made in Brazil. Excuse me, all to hell. I haven't ever got home yet from my first mission. I still wrote riding around with my little dude doodad thing. And I picked up some saws. I don't do saws, but I have a buddy of mine that does. Okay. It's raining. I gotta get on the highway. Hey. We got three Santucos, one Chef's, two boners I call them, from the retirement place. They're not in too bad a shape. They're dull, I mean. This one uh, right here has one pretty good sized chip in it. You can probably see it right there. But that, other than that, they're not too bad a shape. The handles are dinged up a little bit. From fire, I guess, laying them on a burner or something. Okay. Now, now, hold on one minute. My buddy did a really, really fine job on building this frame for this verbal speed motor. He made me three holes for height. I can make it higher. That's where the medium and a, and a bottom. And that's some. And it's built out of a big piece of iron, like angle. And it's not, I guess it weighs 15 pounds maybe. Put some holes right there to screw it down with. Put the uh, control box with the verbal speed knob right there. He does good work. Look at that. He can't beat that. That's like downtown at the races right there. This was a piece of motor, on the motor that came with it, so you could mount it on the lathe, you know? It's a lathe motor. Penn State half horsepower. Stand by, I'll give you some more ideas. I got this 2x2 two two square sheet of plywood, 3 quarter inch. Home Depot sells it in random squares, you know, different thicknesses. My plan is to mount it, hold on a minute, and is to mount it like this, on the edge of the plywood, about eight, 2 inches off from the side. I have this tool rest from one way that I bought. 
it'll sit on here like this some kind of way where I decide to put it and I presume you've seen these you lock it hold on a minute the red arm locks it in place because it's slipping that it wants to move around but that lets this piece come on now Gladys that lets this piece slide in and out telescopically so you can move it up against the whatever it is you have on here stand by let's say for this application I got this drill attachment this is a shaft adapter that slides over the shaft you tighten it down and you put these little felt bulbs in there for polishing they come in different shaft sizes and different configurations I'm gonna do a separate video on this so this is just something I'm warming you up to and myself adapter right here I could I'm not gonna put it on there but I could put this buffing wheel on there you understand how that works I could put this uh you take that shaft adapter off you piece of turkey you could put this little tapered spindle on there and the buffing wheel slides right onto that it locks on there with that you can change buffing wheels real fast with this taper spindle that's a pretty cool little thing I got I got a big one over here I use on this three quarter inch buffer but this one's threaded so it's really nice I'm going to put a I got a chainsaw sharpening stone here I'm going to put that on there I'm going to buy a couple more of these in different thicknesses you can see this was about 530 seconds I think it said it was this is a this thing makes great serrations or cleans them up or improves them you know you use that in conjunction with this table that's how the table is going to mount you put that in line with the object under the shaft you don't have to but that's my plan you bolt that down to the plywood and then you move this table up and down or whatever angle you want if you want it flat or anything you know you could I guess you could sharpen scissors and anything on it if you wanted to you can put this one on and do serrations in a knife blade or anything that needed grinding I got another plan for this thing too but I got to work as I go along to see how to without changing it I'll show you what that is in a couple weeks anyway I'm gonna do a separate video on this stand by but this is a nice unit now I'm on the verbal speed motor I got it so when it's when it's off when it's turned all the way to the left it's off this one I got it turned down to full 500 maybe I'm just experimenting with this long shaft extension and I got a tapered tapered barb on that you can see see it all the way slow it just is turning the uh, thing right here it doesn't line up with this long shaft but it lines up with the short shaft that this is on short shaft extension short shaft extension and whatever else I want to put on there you know you slide it up wherever you want and you change the angle by whatever you want it to change at lock it in place and you lock that in place and it don't go anywhere I think it'll be useful for some things now what I don't really know yet <laughs> now I got this drill chuck thing on here you can put barbs on there 
I think I already showed you this, but different size uh, those. They're eighth inch. This one's got shaft, half inch, uh, I mean quarter inch shafts on. Put a drill bit in there if you want to drill a hole in something straight like a lathe. I don't know. Let's we'll see how it goes. Jeremiah Johnson. Jeremiah Johnson. I'm going in the attic. We have a squirrel that's moved into our attic. Yeah, so, yeah, and that's what we're trying to 